this one now be my last video when I go do concerning this Okuama and Okoloba fights. Okuama and Okoloba they get land issue. But now they make comments say na peacekeeping all those army come. Point of correction, no army come for peacekeeping. They they fight in favor of Tompolo because Tompolo have ordered them to do so. Hello guys, welcome once again to Think Tank TV. It is said that nothing is hidden under the sun. Yes, a video has gone viral of a man who has come out to confess that he was one of those who masterminded and sent over 16 of the Nigerian army in Okwama community of Delta State to ROIP. Yes, he has come to confess that the whole issue is not just about the peacekeeping you are hearing about in most of the media houses, as he has unveiled the reality of what exactly happened. Yes, he has exposed that it was actually a land issue and it was obviously not unconnected with the bunkery that happens in the Niger Delta axis of Nigeria. He went ahead to implicate Tom Polo, who is one of the strong men in the Delta Axis of Nigeria and has been given a multi-billion contract by the federal government to handle the pipeline surveillance within the Niger Delta Axis. I'd like you to sit back and hear directly from him as he has gone ahead to uncover his face exposing some deep truths and secrets you really don't want to miss please do want to hit the comment section let's get to know what you think about the confession of this young man i will shall continually be here to serve you take a look this one that will be my last video when i go do concerning this okuama and okoloba fights okuama and okoloba they get land issue the land issue small crisis called the day Oh now, where be is your people? Where federal government give power to the bomb buckery, to the bomb desert and the cook? They use the same army they escort their own, they go sell. They betray their own blood. That man, you go use the army, carry people from Okwama community. Three people where they carry, they slaughter them. Now, they know they come back to come carry community leaders. And on I know very well, say, once the community leaders are captured, the youth are powerless. The action take place. On they make comments, say, na peacekeeping, all those army come. Point of correction, no army come for peacekeeping. They, they fight in favor of Tompolo, because Tompolo have ordered them to do so. On they say, make I show my face. All these on our comments, one of the comments, na just ordinary reading. Now writing and just the right. If I don't feel talk through for this my land, you no know, get where I go go when I go talk through when I go believe him. Now this video will be the last video when I go do. My papa, a retired captain for this Nigeria. He died last year. He retired as a captain in the army. And I don't lost over six of my friends and relatives for this Nigeria. Remember, as an army, this Nigeria is not worth dying for. As a country, and they let you know. So, if you wanna like, you wanna carry this matter from here to the next level. If you wanna like, me federal government declare me wanted. I'm proud of it. Yes, I'm proud of it. Now they say, show your face. If I show my face, what do you go do me? What do you go do me? So to talk through for this country now and a crime. No wonder what they say truth is always bitter. Crisis deep between two communities. I don't know if you call the elders, I don't know if you call the leaders to settle the issue amicably. If they want to oppress one side for other side, if they call them peacekeeping. And so that they keep peace. Okay, now now go school pass. Now now know the law pass. Now so, oppression, this country, eh, if not before wanting, eh, I for say, eh, make it be like that, north, day or not, south, day or south, all army, 
if you deserve this country, serve with sense. If you be police, police with sense. This Nigeria, your country is not worth dying for. You have seen it for yourself. Now, like many have wondered that how can over 16 fully armed Nigerian army be overpowered with just some youths in the community? And you can see for yourself that the truth is gradually beginning to unveil. As the Nigerian army has also come out to say that they have found out those who masterminded the acts and are going to ensure they bring them back to book. A lot of people have gone ahead to say that uh, it's, a, it's a religious issue, they, they brought up some ethnic sentiments to it, that uh, if such things happen in the northern part of Nigeria, um, the Nigerian army would not be given the authority, like President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has given them the authority and audacity to go after the killers of the soldiers. That if it was in the north, they would not have such authority. Now, the truth is that beyond all the ethnic sentiments I've been hearing around, we must call a spade a spade because lives are involved, regardless of where the location is. I frankly do not support anybody taking the life of any other person. I'd like you to intentionally do well to hit the like button so that YouTube can recommend this video for more people to get to see. I also do well to condemn the actions like we saw on a viral video where the Nigerian army went ahead to begin to have a reprisal attack in that community. For goodness sake, the duty of the army is to go ahead and fish out the perpetrators of this action and do not go ahead to bring down a whole community. Please intentionally do what to hit the like button so that YouTube can recommend this video for more people to get to see. Many thanks indeed to all our viewers and returning subscribers. Really do not take it lightly. My name again is Moses and this is Think Tank TV. See you on our next video. Bye for now.